phosphorated tree, the power cut. The family was going on holiday. They were thinking of friendship. Mom and Dad were busy packing the car. Will you pack this for us, please? asked Wilma. There will be lots to do, said Dad. You won't need those. We will, said Wilf. We must take the game station. I've got great new games. We want to watch this film, said Wilma. We haven't seen some of them yet. And can we take the CD player? asked Biff. It was a long journey. It took hours. They stopped for a break. Let's get a drink, said Mom. Can we play a game in the arcade first? asked the wolf. At last they arrived at the college. We're in the middle of the forest, said Wolf. We're in the middle of nowhere, said Wilma. They went inside in the cottage. Mom and Dad began to unpack the car. There was a big television in the front room. Great, said Chip. Let's watch TV. We could play some games, said Wolf. Could you bring me now game station, Dad? Not now, said Dad. Come and help us unpack the car. At breakfast, Wilma put on a film. Dad sighed. Get dressed, everyone. We didn't come on holiday to watch TV. Can we watch this first? asked Wilma. Later, said Dad. Let's go out. Was it fun on the beach today? said Mom. But nobody said anything. Wolf and Biff were busy playing the game. Chip and Wilma were listening to a CD. Suddenly, all the lights went out. The television and the CD player went off. What happened? called Biff. Dad came in with a torch. There's been a power cut, he said. Mom found a lamp. What if the power doesn't come back? asked Chip, looking at the TV. We'll have to do without it, said Dad. Oh no, said the children. The power didn't come back on. It may be off for a long time, said Dad. It was time to eat. They all sat around the table and had supper by the candlelight. It was fun eating in the dark. They took in turns to tell stories. Dad told them a funny story about a time when he was a little boy. It made them all laugh. That night, the power didn't come back on. The children had to use the lamp to go up to bed. Chip made a shadow on the wall with his hands. Guess what it is, she, he said. Wilma shone the torch under him. The light made her face look scary. Oh, she said, I'm a monster. Everyone laughed. Then Mom came in and said it was time to go to sleep. The next morning, there was still no power. So the family spent all day on the beach. They played a lot of games. It's late, said Mom. It's time to go. Can we stay a bit longer? Asked Wolf. I've got an idea, said Dad. Let's build a fire. We could cook supper. Brilliant, they all shout. Let's get some drift food, said Mom. I'll go and get the food, said Dad. It was getting dark by the time the fire was finished. Hey, Wolf, that looks like a giant bird nest, said Mom. You like it, not lay an egg in it. Dad cooks lots of food in the fire. Then Mom toasts some marshmallows. They all sat and looked at the stars. I have a surprise, said Dad. Sparklers. Sorry, said Dad next morning. Still no power. We can do without it, smiled Chip. Last night was magic, said Wolf. What shall we do tonight? That night, Wilma had a good idea. We could play hide and seek, she said. If you're it, you have a torch. Everyone hid around in the dark cottage. Wolf was it. He counted to a hundred. Wolf looked in every room. Found you, Beef, he called. Biff was hiding behind a big plant. He found Chip lying in the bath. Wilma was behind the TV. Mom was under bed. But where was Dad? 
Suddenly, the moon came up from the behind the car. It lit up the windows that was hiding behind the curtains. That gave me an idea, thought Wilma. The next day, Biff, Chip, and Wolf went with Milma to the woods. Why we have brought the box and the sheet? asked Chip. And why we are here so early? yawned Wolf. There are loads to do before tonight, said Wolf. Wilma's eyes sparked. This evening, we are going to do a shadow play. Brilliant, said Chip. What's that? The children worked all day. They cut off shapes of the cardboard box. Wolf tied the sheet between two trees. What are you doing, Dad? I asked. It's a surprise, said Wilma. There was golden sunset that evening. The children had put down a lot of candles in the jars. How beautiful, said Mom. It's like magic, gasped Dad. Suddenly, Beef turned up the lamp. The sheet glowed. The play began. It was about elves. The elves were cardboard puppets. Wolf and Chip moved the puppets around. Biff did the elf's voice. Wilma played the guitar. They all sang songs. It was a good story. It was funny and sad. It made Mom laugh and Dad cry. The play had finished. Everyone bowed. Hooray, shouted Mom. Well done. Now, said Dad, I've got a surprise. What's it? asked Wilma. You'll see, smiled Dad. They went back to the cottage. It was pitch black. We can't see something, said Wolf. I said you'll see, and now you can. He said that he turned on the power. Dad laughed. Surprise! He said, I want you to enjoy the holiday without TV. There was no power cut. Turn it off again, said the children. We can do without it. <laughs>